already started here at um, 23rd February 2020. And Alhamdulillah, once again, we all are gathered here to fundraise for the Crater Valley Hospital and Brother Mufti, Bob Delaney, Ron Star, all with you. And thank you everyone to come out for this morning. So Mufti, what you said, we are here once again. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's the, by the way, it's the 10th annual walkathon. We have started in 2011 and uh, it's in a continued support with the people like yourself. You were part of the uh, uh, team. Uh, Bob Delaney has been uh, with us from since day one, even, you know, in the planning phase. Ron Starr has been our, uh, you know, Every year he has made sure that he has to be a part of this uh, walkathon. Brother Amman, Brother Sharif Shabavi is, uh, is here somewhere, I can't see him, uh, he but, but he, was, he was here. Uh, and all the MPPs and uh, MP Ikra Khalish is also coming. And I mean, I'll name all, and I can't name all of the volunteers who have been with us because there will be injustice for me. Many of them which I will forget to name. Brother mm -hmm. Salamana is here, Brother Rafiq, Brother Ashwak, and so many names. Brother, uh, you know, Frost and so on, and yourself, as I said, uh, and Brother uh, Irfan Malik is there, and so on. So, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, Brother Sabir Gaya, you can't forget because he's always behind, behind the scene, you know. So, thank you very much again. And But this time, I think uh, I would say uh, when we started the program, the uh, temperature was minus 16. Okay. Uh, but this year, I think uh, God, uh, uh, God upstairs has seen our efforts and sincerity. <laughs> so he gave us a gift this year. Yes. So we are standing here even we don't need a court now today. Yes. So I think uh, is, we have a message going upstairs too. So uh, Ron, you're here every year. I know that. If you say a few words, please. Well, yeah, it's just a wonderful event that's been put on uh, for so long. I mean, the first $250,000 was raised for the hospital. Now you're into the second phase of it. And look at the turnout. A beautiful day. Raise more money. Uh, get together with your friends and family and do the right thing. So I'm very pleased for AQ and all the, all the volunteers that come out and uh, support the hospital. Great cause. I have Bob Delaney here with me. I'm just coming back with uh, Sharif. Bob Delaney is also here. He's, I, I know that he's coming from many years. Yes, this actually started with a conversation in my constituency office way back uh, 11 or 12 years ago and I just want to say to all of the donors um, the money that you're donating here is essential money for the hospital this is what puts equipment on the floor uh, this is every single piece of equipment that you use in your treatment is money that's been um, has been acquired with money from a donor mm -hmm. so this is where your donations are going and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who walks and to everyone who supports them and to don who donates so there are many people here here's there are many people are here and we will definitely cover uh, many of them after that and we have few more people here good morning I uh, would like to congratulate uh, Mufti for organizing that event for the tenth time and it's uh, it shows the initiative from the community to help the community and this is a very good thing and uh, will help the system uh, we know that the system is having some challenges and we are working as a government on this challenges and i you should be feeling the change we are adding more long term care beds we are trying to help the hospital system but of course any initiative come from the community is very appreciated and i congratulate the community for such a good event. so noka is here too thank you um, good morning everyone it's it's such a beautiful beautiful day for a um, a a walk um, and I'm so happy to be here to support this cause. Thank you so very much for organizing this every year. It's so important for us to get together and support our local uh, hospital and our, our local organizations that service our community. And I'm always happy to be here. Um, and I'm so excited, it's such a beautiful day and, and we're all here for that. So I look forward to the walk. Thank you. So if you were, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, we are trying. My name is Aslam Rana, and uh, I'm the volunteer working for this uh, beautiful cause for years and years. And uh, I'm very much thankful to Brother Mufti, who always grab us and bring it in here. Uh, honestly, this is a very good cause. So hopefully, we will meet our target, 250,000 for this year. Inshallah, we are there. Inshallah, we are trying our best. Thank you. Okay, I have one more gentleman. Khalid Saab is here. Is the father of Brother. Thank, thank you very much. It is a beautiful day. We are all here to, to take part. A very noble job. Inshallah, everything will be okay. Every show, everybody should part, take part in, the, in this uh, in this event. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you. And now I think so. In few minutes, we will start our journey of walkathon, and we come back to this back to the celebration square again. Thank you. Okay. Malik sir, Malik sir, you are standing behind me. 
हाँ बस ठीक है आगे आ जाते हो नहीं नहीं वो ठीक है भाई बड़ा बुजुर्ग है यार बड़ा जबरदस्त आदमी है बता दूँ मैं तुम्हें आदमी अच्छा है वो काम आता है लोगों के यार Before we start the walk, uh, Adnan, where is where are you, Adnan? I think uh, no, the uh, uh, junior Adnan. <laughs> okay, uh, our volunteers are here because there is uh, some uh, construction going on. Uh, so that's why we are changing the route a little bit because we don't want to put the safety of our uh, our volunteers at risk. So we are changing from Banam Thap. We are going to you know a little bit uh, you know uh, earlier than that is from the Living Arts Center. So our volunteers are here. Uh, they are going to guide you through. So please follow them because there's a lot of concessions. We don't want you to step into the traffic and so on. So please follow our volunteers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. अब तुम सिर्फ चलने की करो। और so now the now the already started this journey is already started a walkathon and uh, it's a great event really it's a great event and a great blessing for the for the community and a lot of volunteers a lot of people you can watch we we started this every year when it was started in 2011 the my when the first time we have a family day uh, uh government of liberal party announced the family day holiday and from day day on every year this event is taking place and people are really 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 supporting this and up till now 2002.5 uh, quarter million actually sorry quarter millions is already raised and uh, and is already donated now this year they uh, they asked for another quarter million and the thing अच्छा यहाँ से बोलता हुआ जाऊँ गिरना जाना देख गिरना नहीं बस गिरना नहीं गिरना नहीं गिरना नहीं सुनो सुनो जब उधर से आओगे ना मुझे देखोगे तो माइक ऑन करना दबा के कौन सा बोल रहे हैं ये एक सेकंड इसको दो दफा दबाओगे म्यूट आ गया तो आवाज नहीं जाएगी ठीक है बोल रहा हूँ मुझे मैं भी जा रहा हूँ Hello, hello, testing, hello. So walk is going on, but not sloppy areas here, and the people are walking, so we have to be all very careful. And both uh, Aram Aram se chale. There are a lot of uh, slippery areas. जो है भी आप देखें कि वाइट सेंटर के पास से गुजर आगे बढ़ रही है. और रवान दवा है हमारा काफिला अपनी मंजिल मकसूद की तरफ मिसिस लाइब्रेरी और 
के सामने से गुजरते हुए तो हम लिविंग आर्ट सेंटर की रोड की तरफ आ गए हैं और आई मुझे नहीं मालूम कि लिविंग आर्ट सेंटर से अब ये काफिला जो है वो यहाँ से टर्न लेगा राइट की तरफ और ये पूरा स्क्वायर कवर करता हुआ ये पूरा स्क्वायर कवर करता हुआ जनाब ये पहुँचेगा दोबारा सेलिब्रेशन स्क्वायर के ऊपर और वहाँ पर जो है वो ये वॉक थॉन ख़त्म होगी इज़ एन एक्सलेंट वॉक मॉर्निंग वॉक द पीपल हु कम आउट रियली दे दे डिड अ गुड दे रियली सपोर्ट द कम्यूनिटी एंड आई थिंक सो ब्रदर साबिर इज कवरिंग ऑल दिस कवरेज अ ग्रेट कवरेज फॉर टू डेज प्रोग्राम तो ये देखें यहाँ पर सब लोग जो है वो जा रहे हैं और ब्रदर मसूर इज हेयर मसूर कैन यू कम फॉर दन मिनट हेयर सो मसूर यू आर दैप्टर प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इकना वेल इट्स अ वेरी ग्रेट मोमेंट फॉर आस ऑल ऑफ द मुस्लिम कम्यूनिटी इन दिस सिटी दैट वी हैव बीन एबल टू अलहमदिल्ला हेल्प आउट दी क्रेड वैली हॉस्पिटल दिस इज बेसिकली गिविंग बैक टू द कम्यूनिटी एंड वी हैव बीन डूइंग इट सिंस लास्ट एट ईयर्स यू आर ऑल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ दैट एंड माशा टूडे यू आर ऑल्सो द पार्ट सो वी आर डूइंग इट सिंस लास्ट सेवन एट ईयर्स एंड अलहमदिल्ला वी हैव बीन वेरी सक्सेसफुल कम्यूनिटी इज ऑल ऑफ अस विद अस एंड देन we have been uh, now generating a second time uh, the half a million dollar for the credit valley hospital thank you thank you masoor join your walk thank you we are very pretty all and uh, this uh, journey is almost uh, going to be end so 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 ye walk a thon jo hai wo apna safar ikhtitam ki taraf ja rahi hai aur ye jo hai hum is city center hall ki taraf badh rahe hain jahan par hamara agla program hona hai aur us agle program ke andar जो है वो फैमिली अहमियत के हवाले से और हमारे शहर के इस वहाँ पर करेंगे उसमें हमारी पेपर खालिद हैं शर सवा भी इधर मौजूद हैं और बहुत सारे लोग इधर मौजूद हैं जो कि इस प्रोग्राम का हिस्सा हैं एंड आई थिंक वेरी नियर वी ऑलमोस्ट हेयर विद दे आर सो मैनी अदर पीपल विच वॉज नॉट हेयर इमरान मियाँ इज आई कैन सी इमरान मियाँ इज हेयर एंड दे आर मैनी अदर डिग्नेटरीज आवर सिटी brother ahmed khan from the cooper mosque brother akbar brother tariq from the cooper mosque as well the uh, mrs saga are there and uh, ikra is joining us ikra, ikra is joining us and uh, welcome ikra welcome ikra please will join us yes उसको उसको लाने दे उसको लाने दे वेट करें मुफ्ती साहब मुफ्ती साहब वेट करना है वेट करना है ओके सो ओके लेट्स लेट्स सो ये सफर जो है वॉकथॉन का जारी है और शहर की बहुत सारी हमारी मारूफ शख्सियात एम पी किकरा खालिद ने भी हमें ज्वाइन किया यहाँ पर or um, brother imran mia is also join us and uh, there are a lot of other dignitaries of our city they are already here and ji ji janab arif jahangir is one of the best producer in toronto 360 so we are we are just we are just following him 
and I will hand over the camera to Arab Jangiri, our MP Ikra Khalid is also here. Yes, I need to talk with Ikra. Just to give me. Uh, uh, Sabir Bhai? I'm talking to Ikra. Yes, yes. So, uh, our MP Ikra Khalid join us and uh, welcome and uh, also I want to congratulate that you are the uh, you are the chairing now the justice committee in the in the car in the hall and I'm really appreciate that your efforts what you're doing and thank you. thank you it's so wonderful to be back here again this year uh, the initiative that led by Abdul Qayyum Mufti and and the Muslim community to, to raise so many funds to fulfill our commitment and to be part of the community by supporting our local hospital here and the Trillium Health Partners is really commendable I'm here to to be part of this celebration and to, to encourage and to, to make sure that we keep on uh, making this initiative bigger and better every year. So thank you so much, Mufti Saab, for everything that you do. Thank you, thank you. Let's. So everybody. Mufti sahab, group picture karni hai, group picture. Okay, so everybody's lining up for the group picture, please. And I, everybody, sir, please, uh, please go to the stairs. So everybody's joining us for the group picture. Let's, let's everybody join, let's everybody join. Let's everybody join. Okay, uh, okay. I want that way. That's the way. Sorry for disturbing No, no, that's okay. I, I will manage. <laughs> I don't want my brother feel any hard feeling. No, no, any hard feeling. No hard feeling at all. Uh, uh, let's let, let get back a little bit. Get back, get back. Get back, get back. Okay. Sabir, we have less time. We have less time. We have less time. I think they should move this back. Oh, he will cover. He will cover. Okay, so now the journey is ending here of a walk. And after that, we have a program inside. And Alhamdulillah, this year, uh, good numbers of hundreds of pupils are joining us on this walk. And many children you can see in the front, they are joining us as well. And people are coming out with the family because this is a family day walk, right? And we have to come with the family. And Alhamdulillah, those uh, families who have come with their families, and they are showing a great blessing that what is in the blessing in the family. And Alhamdulillah, <laughs> So we have, we have we have our we have our Irfan Malik. Uh, I don't know about his age, but he he's looks like a child. He's okay <laughs> as well. Irfan Malik Bhai is there as well. There, good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, selfie. <laughs> so uh, we have our uh, Sabir Gaya who is actually covering this whole from Toronto 360, and he just go for the selfie, and people are really. <laughs> if one way we take from you, don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not. <laughs> okay. We have uh, Sabir Gaya and our experienced photographer and the coverage partner of Toronto 360 is doing excellent, excellent job by covering this. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Anand and Gagan is here too. Let me let me go there. Let me go there. Let me go there. Let me go there. Ah, Sabir. Sabir, I'm Anand and Gagan. Ke paas ja raho. Tumne jaldi se banani hai. Jaldi se banani. Jaldi se banani hai. Jaldi banani hai. Jaldi. So, so Mr. Anand, our MPP from the Conservative Party is here. If it's open, yes. So he's here. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, no, make this. No, make here. Okay. Okay. They look so cute. Yes. Hanji, Hanji. Come here. Okay, I, I will go there then. Thodi der ke liye de de jaga. 
नहीं नहीं देंगे देंगे इधर इधर गगन का आनंद आनंद कम यार आनंद का देवक यार so we have uh, deepak anand here from the conservative party of our mpp bond from malton mississauga and thank you welcome uh, to the walkathon thank you so much for doing this thank you i mean it's only because of you you're doing this and we are here okay thank you and uh, we have another our mp gagan is here gagan sikand and uh, from the street so few safety words assalam alaikum i'm always impressed by the turnout from the community you know people often look to governments for things but who needs a government when you have citizens like this uh nine years running $250,000 raised every year um it's actually really amazing how active and engaged everyone is it's a good news story thank you absolutely thank you for coming up for the walk of thank you i already take him i already cover him i already cover him इरफान भाई को इरफान मैं ऑन कर लूं ओके वी आर हियर ऑन 23 फरवरी संडे अगेन टू जैकेट निकालो ठीक हो गया बस नहीं मैं 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 अभी आपसे ले लेता हूं ओके So we are here in 2020 Walkathon again, so, uh, Khalid, and uh, many years from since 2011, we are organizing this event, and uh, I know that many years you are coming here. So, what do you want to say this year? No, uh, this year, uh, mashallah, you know, I'm so proud to say that uh, Alhamdulillah, our Muslim community has been doing a phenomenal job uh, and giving back to the society. I always say that uh, one of the reasons why I'm in politics is because my grandfather always used to say to me that Khalid, this country has given so much to us. It's our responsibility to give back. Uh, we want to be a community that uh, should always be out there supporting. various causes various organizations and we should be proudly showing to to the world but also to the canadians that we as a muslim community are here to support our organizations like for example this hospital right here uh, the trillium hospital you and i we go to this hospital and it's run by private donations mm -hmm. and publicly funded um, funds so why not we be part of that society that you know proudly saying that the muslim community is giving back and and i'm really proud today that the mississauga muslim community is yet again are contributing over quarter of a million dollar that's a huge accomplishment and this one of the area that's really important for us and for you as well that many muslim organization come together for this cause yes. is not one one organization and it is a huge huge benefit to the community as well absolutely because uh, i what i am always asking and i'm always saying to our community and organizations is like let's come together and under the umbrella of the uh, muslim community and show the the people out there that you know we as muslims are giving back to the society and and that will send a very strong yeah, message it, because un, like in the world that we are living today as uh, you know how sometimes uh, we come across uh, issues that may not have a, a positive impact mm -hmm. but doing something like this is going to send a very strong message out there thank you khalid uh, for your time and and really appreciate for your time thank, thank you. you so much thank, thank you. you bye hey kya karte ho yaar abhi shur acha main So we have here Imran Mia, and we know that um, he ran for the MPP election for uh, uh, 10th line and Meadowville area. Mr. Agar, Mr. Mr. Agar in Meadowville area, and. अच्छा जी. ठीक है, ठीक है, ठीक है, चले. ठीक है, ठीक है. नहीं, नहीं, आपने अच्छा रोक दिया. Read. So we have Imran Mia here, and Mr. Agar in Meadowville. He contests there, and but. Uh, Yes, definitely somebody have to win, but uh, I'm sure he is very energetic again. Very energetic, energetic again, and yes. uh, ready for the next election as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So I see you many years. You are coming yes. from the walkathon and joining this and helping the community and supporting this event. What do you want to say? This, I think uh, it's great to be back here. Um, I think this is our ninth annual. Uh, led by uh, no other than AQ Mufti and the Muslim community of Mississauga, this is our way of uh, showing and giving back uh, that you know. And this is our city. This is where we live, and this is our home. 
and uh, we want to help out uh, not just the Muslim community but everybody across um, across the city, across the province and uh, we have two hospitals as you know and uh, all the help uh, that we could uh, provide uh, as residents of Mississauga uh, is gonna, not going to be enough so we, we got to keep doing more and encourage uh, our youth uh, to be involved as well. And uh, one particular thing that uh, this organization has done really well over the years is getting our youth involved in this very, very, um, uh, very, very important cause. And the important thing is that the, being a Muslim community, right? It is. We have to show our family gesture as well, and this is a family day holiday as well. Yeah, this is so. This is a, a great way to bring all the families together, and uh, make make something good out of it. Okay. Families families coming together and, and doing uh, good work for for the larger community. Thank you, Imran, for your few comments. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> आजो पाजी इतने हड्डे होना है वो इंटरव्यू चल रहा है भाई दिल दिल हाँ इंटरव्यू चल रहा है ऐसे नहीं तो सारा स्टाफ है ना उसका तो कोई नहीं कोई नहीं आप कम्युनिटी लीडर भी तो है ना सो वी हैव हियर ब्रदर फ्रांस मलिक बाबा फेमस बाबा एंड uh, and who know, don't know you, man, in the, in the city. Thank Everybody you know much, you. Sir. This is because of and, you, sir. Yes, and you're doing a tremendous job as well to bring in the community together. Thank you, And sir. I see you many for many years now in this walkathon. This is the ninth or tenth year yes. of walkathon. Yes. So what do you say about 2020 walkathon? Sir, uh, Arabai, first of all, happy, very, very happy birthday, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Secondly, um, I follow you always. Okay. And I learn from you. You are a scholarly person. Uh, this is my 10th year with uh, Walk family Walkathon with Mufti Mahmood Sahib. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great job. It, we are known by as Muslim community of Mississauga. And we prove that we can do everything for city of Mississauga, our hospitals, our Canadian fellows. And the beauty of this event is that all the funds go to directly to Trillium Hospital and Mississauga Food Bank or whatever it may be. We don't collect even a single penny. So whoever is donating, he is donating directly to Trillium Hospital. And we collected maybe all of us, as we means you, me, Mufti Sahib, everybody, we have so far collected about 1.5 million, more than 1.5 yes. million. So nobody can say that Muslim community is not contributing. We are contributing more than anybody else. Exactly. Thank you very much. Arabai, Baj Shukriya. Thanks. Thank you for having here and giving the time to Toronto 360. Thank you. Ma'am, isko isko le. So we have here Uwais Iqbal and Uwais Iqbal is our famous anchor of Toronto 360 and he's joining from many years as well. Say a few words please. Sir, I am very happy that the family day walkathon is here for the 10th year of family day walkathon. This consistency is very important. If you have to keep it for 10 years, then credit goes to Abdul Qaim Mukti Sahib, you and your team members are very team members. और मैं समझता हूं कि हमें इसमें एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहिए कि हम अपनी अपनी कम्युनिटीज़ में तो गिव बैक करते हैं लेकिन मेन स्ट्रीम के अंदर ज्वाइन होना और गिव बैक करना और विजिबल होना बहुत ज़रूरी है और सबसे बड़ी बात जो अहम तरीन बात है वेस इसके अंदर ये कि जिस तरह मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेट करती है तमाम मुस्लिम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्क टुगेदर कर रही है आसान काम नहीं है बड़ा मुश्किल काम है सबको साथ लेके चलना और 10 साल तक साथ लेके चलना ये बड़ी बात है बस जरूरत इस समर की कि जो आम आवाम है वो इसमें पार्टिसिपेट करे और इस इवेंट को बड़े से बड़ा हम करते चले जाएँ पैसों के अतबार से भी और अपनी पार्टिसिपेशन के अतबार से भी थैंक यू फॉर दू थैंक यू शुक्रिया So, Brother Anas uh, is with us. Uh, he is an uh, avid, uh, uh, you know, enthusiast. Uh, he has been in uh, the local government, uh, the, the government relations, and uh, he is, uh, uh, you know, a speaker, a motivational speaker as well, uh, and, and a professional, and uh, I can see where is Anas. I can, oh, oh, he's standing with me. Oh, come on, I was saying this, you know, was trying to see him there. So, okay, I won't be heard up between you and Anas anymore. So, Anas, please come forward and take us from the, till the end, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, Assalamu Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? 
Okay, a little bit louder. How's everyone doing today? So to start us off, just real quickly, I want to get some energy, a little bit of energy in the room. Can I get everybody to stand up? Yeah. yeah. So while we were while, while we were walking outside uh, uh, during the walkathon, uh, I got uh, I got a little bit of an idea. Maybe we'll try to implement it next year. But to to do some chanting or something like that, it'll be it'll be nice while we're doing the walk. So this is a test run, uh, unproven. So let's see if we can make it work. So I, I'm gonna get everybody to repeat after me. From river to lake, we're raising funds for family's sake. All right? From river to lake, we're raising funds for family's sake. From river to lake, we're raising funds for family's sake. Now, you. Now, chant it. You go. Okay. From river to lake, we're raising funds for family's sake. From river to lake, we're raising funds for family's sake. Nice, that's amazing. Good job, everybody. So I think that was a success. So next year for the walkathon, we'll have like a little chant sheet for everyone. <laughs> and that was the Credit Valley River to Lake Ontario for, for the non-natives of Mississauga. Um, so we're going to start uh, off uh, uh, with a recitation from the Holy Quran. Uh, it's going to be done by Musa Faridi. Uh, Musa is a young student who has memorized the entire Quran, mashallah, by heart uh, from the age of six years old. Uh, he's the son of Hafiz Ishaq, the Imam of Ar Rahman Islamic Center. So, Musa, where is he? Yes, please come up. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه إحسانا حملته أمه كرها ووضعته كرها وحمله وفصاله ثلاثون شهرا حتى إذا بلغ أشده وبلغ أربعين سنة قال قال رب أوزعني أن أشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علي وعلى والدي وعلى والدي وأن أعمل صالحا ترضاه وأصلح لي في ذريتي إني تبت إليك وإني من المسلمين Your Lord has commanded you to worship none but him and to be dutiful to your parents. If either of them or both of them reach old age with you, do not say words of disrespect or scold them. Rather, say kind words. We have enjoined upon man kindness to his parents. His mother bared him with difficulty and delivered him with difficulty. His weaning and bearing took 30 months until he attained maturity and has reached 40 years. He says, O oh my Lord, enable me to appreciate your blessings you have bestowed upon me and my parents and to act with righteousness pleasing you. I have repented to you and I am one of those who have surrendered. Thank you so much, Brother Musa. Very inspiring recitation, very beautiful voice as well, mashallah. 
next up, we have the national anthem that's being presented by uh, the Muslim Youth Soccer League uh, children. Uh, the Muslim Youth Soccer League, for those that don't know, uh, is a non-for-profit organization uh, formed in 1999 to serve the Muslim youth in our growing community. Uh, in the 2019 season, they had around 1,200 players from age four and up, boys and girls, of course. They do outstanding work. I'm a graduate of the uh, MYSL team. Uh, I used to play with them from uh, from a young age, so it, uh, they're a group of people that's uh, very dear and close to my heart. We're just arranging the children at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to ask everybody to please rise uh, uh, for the singing of the national anthem. Thank you so much. You may be seated. Next up, we have uh, uh, our first uh, speaker. Uh, it's none other than our dear Mayor Bonnie Crombie. Uh, born into a Polish-Ukrainian immigrant family, uh, Mayor Crombie is the sixth and current mayor of Mississauga and a proud mother of three beautiful children. Uh, prior to her election as mayor, Mayor Crombie served as the Ward 5 City Councillor and previous to that as Member of Parliament for Mississauga Streetsville. Uh, she received her MBA from the Schulich uh, School of Business at York University in 1992. Before entering public service, Mayor Crombie enjoyed a 22-year uh, year career in business, uh, worked for two Fortune 500 companies, including Walt Disney uh, and the McDonald's Corporation. She successfully practiced public affairs at the Insurance Bureau of Canada and was later self-employed as uh, an independent public affairs consultant. Without further ado, Mayor Crombie. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our very beautiful, renovated uh, Great Hall. Isn't it lovely? Uh, just one correction. I'm actually the fourth mayor of Mississauga. The fourth mayor. Yes, there was uh, Marty Dobkin, Ron Searle, Hazel, of course, for 36 years, and then me. Maybe uh, Streetsville and then the towns. But anyways, I want to uh, welcome everyone today. An honor and a pleasure to be here with everyone. Uh, thank you, of course, to our, our dear friend, our brother, A.Q. Mufti. Uh, uh, chair of the Mississauga Muslim Community, and, and thank all the volunteers who are here today and all the sponsors involved in making today, which is the 10th, I can't believe we've been doing this for 10 years, Brother Mufti, 10 years, family walkathon success, and I'm actually glad it's not actually on Family Day weekend so I can be here. Thank you, because I always seem to be busy that weekend somewhere doing something. And it's something I do look forward to, so I'm honored we can be here. And it, it really demonstrates how much the Muslim community comes together but really cares about the city and cares about making us such a bright, vibrant, inclusive, and, and resilient city and, and what a vibrant community 
the Muslim community is. But today is all about bringing families together to celebrate unconditional love, support, confidence, and a sense of belonging, uh, and those are the values that we all share. It's also about celebrating generosity, compassion, and commitment, and giving back to our community. And I have to tell you that Whenever I ask, and sometimes I ask, for your charitableness, and because you believe in zakat, you give back so generously and you never fail to disappoint me, whether you step forward each year to help me raise money and food for our food bank drive uh, last month, and in fact, at one o'clock today, we're going to have a big announcement. You dug deep once again for Canada Strong to help the victims of Flight 752, the 57 Canadian victims that were shot down in the airplane. And at one o'clock, we'll know if we achieved our goals. But with your help, I'm very confident uh, that we did because you were so generous. So you're always there. And now here you are again, helping build resiliency in our healthcare community by making our very own Trillium Health Partners, I see them here today, uh, one of able to provide world quality healthcare right in here in our community. And because we have some provincial members here, I'll remind them of the need uh, to eliminate hallway healthcare in our community and help us rebuild the uh, Mississauga site, the Trillium site at, at uh, here, Ontario and uh, the Queensway. It's so very important and they're all here nodding. So Nicole, Catherine, that's, they're nodding, so we, hopefully we have uh, their approval to get that money, get those funds flowing so we can rebuild that hospital site. And the nurses and the doctors work so hard to provide that world-class care, but yet we know the conditions, uh, it's an older hospital, seriously need of an upgrade. I mean, when we bought all that new equipment, we had to build a new wing so we could plug it in. <laughs> the wiring is dated as well. Uh, I shouldn't be remiss to mention that my good friend and colleague, who's a big supporter of the community, Ron Starr from Ward 6 is here as well, I'm sure he'll be speaking. I just want to acknowledge that he always comes out and he's also always very supportive. So I have no idea where I am in my remarks because I think I've been winging it here. But uh, I just say that Trillium is always there for us when we need them. I know that each and in each and every one of us in this room has either used Trillium Hospital ourselves or certainly our family has. They have been there for us and now you are there for them. And since uh, the beginning of this walkathon 10 years ago, you have raised in excess, I'm going to say a number, Brother Mufti, but I think it's greater than that, $250,000, is that the right number? $250,000 for Credit Valley Hospital. And each year, you come closer to achieving that goal, your goal, that stretch goal of a half a million dollars, $500,000, to support the expansion of the Credit Valley Hospital Emergency Department. And I know everyone here, certainly I have, has use that emergency uh, department for either themselves or to help a loved one. So it's the services they provide are vital for our community. So I'm very proud to be here today to lend my support to this. This year's theme is parents, unconditional love. Of course, as a parent, we have unconditional love for our children. Uh, and it serves as a reminder that our families are always there for us. No matter who we are, no matter what we do, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're, it's the, our family families that are there for us. And I always believe that we're all, we all chose Canada because we saw it as the best place to live, to work, and to raise our families in the country that gave us an equal opportunity to succeed. And you all know what I love to say. And here, especially in Mississauga, we try to, tr we try to create a tone at the top, a culture where we have no tolerance for any intolerance. So we see this as the best place, the best country, the best province, and the best city in which to raise our our families to live, to work, and to invest, and, um, and that's why our theme today, unconditional love for our families, is so important. And no matter what challenges you face as parents, we're always there to love, to nurture our children, and provide them with the guidance and support they need, of course, to grow and to thrive. So events like this one really bring out the best in our community, to come out and support this very worthy cause and to dig a little deeper in our pockets because there are no short supply of good causes to support and to donate to, but this is a particularly particularly vital one. So I'm very grateful that you're all here. We would, I wish you much success in the, the event, and I'm so very grateful that you chose Trillium Health Partners, Credit Valley Hospital Emergency Department as the cause you're supporting. So best wishes for another successful event. Thank you again and salam alaikum. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much, Mayor Crombie. Uh, next up, we have uh, the uh, uh, Member of Parliament, uh, Federal Parliament, uh, uh, Ikra Khalid. Uh, she's an avid believer in building strong communications and giving back to society. Uh, MP Ikra is a young Pakistani-Canadian woman who has lived in the writing of Mississauga Erin Mills for the past decade. She immigrated to Canada in the late 1990s from England, where she began her formal schooling. Uh, MP Khaled graduated from York University in 2007 with a double major in criminology and uh, professional writing. She later obtained her Juris Doctor. Uh, Khaled, MP Khaled uh, currently sits on the Standing Committee of Justice and Human Rights, as well as the Foreign Affairs and International Development Subcommittee on on international human rights. Uh, in addition to these roles, she also serves as the chair of the Liberals uh, Women's Caucus and the All-Party Women's Caucus. Uh, MP Khaled, if you want to join us up here. Oh, thank you, Jazakallah. That was a pretty long one. Um, uh, Asalaamu Alaikum, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, it's really wonderful to be here, and you know, as, as the mayor said, 10 years is a very long time to keep going, to keep building on that momentum, and I, I really have to commend uh, Mufti Saab, where, where is he, for, for keeping us together, there you are, for, for bringing everybody together, for keeping us together, and for really bringing out the best in people. I, I know that cities and communities are not built from the top down, they're always built from the ground up. And we, as, as residents of Mississauga, we, we really have shown uh, to, to be part of this community, to, to be part of the building of this city, this is very monumental, sixth largest city in Canada that we are very proud of. So thank you, each and every one of you, for your contributions, for, for being here today, and for encouraging that unity, encouraging the, the positivity, and making sure that we are doing better, not worse, for one another. And this year's theme, as we talk about unconditional love, I, I have to say family day for me was, uh, was a really, it's always a really great day because I don't get to spend a lot of time with my family anymore. Um, and so my, my mom and dad are very, very precious to me. I know my dad's here today. Hi, dad. <laughs> Um, and, and you know, as, as we deal with, um, with challenges here in, in our office, one thing that I, I hear recurring again and again and again is, uh, is support for seniors. Uh, as our parents age, how can we provide better support for them? And I know that, yes, um, our healthcare system has a role to play, but so do families, so do, uh, you know, all levels of government have a role to making sure that we are supporting our parents as they age. And I look forward to continuing to partner with you, whether it's through increasing our old age security, enhancing our Canada pension plan, making sure that our hospitals are well funded, that our healthcare system is well funded, uh, and ensuring that, that there is long-term care that is available for, for our parents as they age. Uh, there's so much more work to do. And I'm very excited to do it. I'm very excited to keep on partnering with you to make sure that we get to where we need to get, to make sure that we are taking care of one another and that we are growing that bond of love more and more every day. So with that, I have a small token of appreciation for Mufti Saib and the whole team uh, for everything that you do. Thank you so very much. Thank you, everybody, for your continued support. Uh, it, it really swells my heart to, uh, to, to know that you all stand together and, and with me as we try to do bigger and better things. Thank you very much, Mufti Saib. I'll have you come up. Thank you. Just want to mention that uh, this certificate is not for me, it's for <laughs> the, all of you. It, it cannot be done without you. I mean, I will name later on when, I, when my turn comes up, but it's, again, it's not me, it's all of you. Again, whatever I receive here is on your behalf. Thank you so much, MP and uh, uh, Brother Mufti. 
uh, next up, we have the uh, Member of Parliament, uh, uh, Gigan Sikand, uh, uh, from Mississauga Streetsville. Uh, MP Sikand attended the University of Toronto. Uh, he completed an honours BA with a double major in crime and deviance and philosophy. He obtained an LLB uh, law degree from uh, Brunel Law School in London, England. Uh, he worked for the Provincial Office of the Attorney General and the Ministry of Aboriginal Affairs. Please, if you'd like to join us. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I re-injured my foot, which is why I didn't walk, but... Um, you know, honestly, who needs government when we have citizens like you? I'm joking, but, and I, I say that because 10 years straight, Mr. Mufti and others, I know I saw Aman by Imran Mian, Ayaz, and the entire community come together for 10 years and raise the amount of money they do. So even though I'm joking, we can't understate how important it is what you're doing. You know, healthcare is such an imperative part of the federal, provincial government, the, the transfers but everybody uses the hospitals. And the fact that you're able to consistently raise the amount of money that you are doing says something. It says something about our community members. It says something about those that organize. And honestly, we are very thankful from the government as a citizen. We're thankful that you care that much and that you're able to do this every year for 10 years straight. And I was just talking to Mufti Zahab and he was saying that you're, you're, you surpassed your goals. So you're growing in your momentum, which is amazing as well. So I'm going to keep my remarks short. Uh, it is a giant thank you on behalf of the government um, and my colleagues. Uh, I would like to also acknowledge my previous colleague, Bob Delaney, who has been quite a mentor and I know has participated in this for, for the last 10 years. I also have a small token of appreciation, so I'd like to present that to Mr. Mufti and the team if they'd like to come up as well. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for having me. Thank you, MP. Um, next up, uh, we have a, a MPP uh, Khalid Rashid from uh, Mississauga uh, East uh, Cooksville. If you'd like to come up and say uh, a few words. Assalamu alaikum and uh, a very good afternoon to you all. Mufti uh, Sahab, mashallah, uh, you are a, a a, a, a figure in this community who is doing so much in the in the Muslim community and in our province by giving back to to the society. Uh, I always remember uh, my grandfather always used to say this to me uh, when he came to this beautiful country that Khalid, it is our responsibility to give back to the society. This country, this province has given so much to us that we as uh, individuals, as uh, the member of, members of this community, we have to make sure that we represent, but also give back. So Jazakallah khair for all the great work that you are doing, because you are bringing many different organizations under the umbrella of the, the Muslim community and giving to the hospitals. Because at the end of the day, we all are using facilities of a Trillium Health Partner. If we are a resident of Mississauga, that's the hospital we use. And uh, it, is, it is always good to see that how much as a community we are giving back. So I think we all should give us a, a huge round of applause to each other for, for doing such a great work. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I can say that, I can proudly stand here and say that we, as a, as a provincial government, are, are working extremely hard to make sure that our healthcare system is sustainable. And uh, we are investing uh, quite a bit of, uh, of dollar amount uh, in our healthcare system. So inshallah, you will see uh, that the progress will continue and uh, we will continue to invest from a provincial perspective, continue to invest money. Um, the, the CEO of uh, Trillium Health Partner, Michelle Demanuel, 
a uh, few weeks ago we were uh, at a consultation for our budget 2020 and she said that uh, she's very proud that the province is investing money in healthcare system. So it made me really happy that the CEO was uh, uh, commenting on, on the, the province and the great work that we as uh, the Ford government are, are doing for our healthcare system. Uh, last but not least, um, when we talk about family, uh, I'm, uh, I'm one of those fortunate individuals uh, whose parents uh, live with, live, or I live with my parents. Uh, I should say this way, and uh, every day I, I learn from from my parents uh, or or my dad whenever I go out that I what I need to do in order to make sure that our seniors have a better future in this in this province. And uh, I'm standing here today because of my parents' uh, dua, duas that they give me every day. And without their duas, I won't be here. So uh, kudos to my parents uh, for, uh, for bearing the burden that, that I bring to them every day. But uh, you know what? Without their support, their duas, I won't be here. Um, if I may request Brother Mufti to please come up, I have a, a token of appreciation from the province. And if I can request my colleague uh, Sharif Sabavi, who is here, I know he will be speaking. And I, I know Deepak was here. I don't know. If he left? Okay. So if Sharif, if you'd like to come up and we'll give this token uh, of appreciation to Brother Mufti. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you so much, MPP. Yes. Sure. Um, and next up, and uh, stole a little bit of my thunder, MPP Khalid. Uh, we have uh, MPP Sheikh Sabawi to give a few words. Good morning, everyone. I'm, I'm very glad to be here with you like every year in the Walkathon. And I really uh, give a, a big applause for uh, Brother Mufti for um, keep going and doing it. And this is the 10th year. And hopefully we'll be uh, doing 20th year very, with you uh, at some point. And the importance of such initiatives actually not as much as the, the amount of money but bringing the community together, getting more people involved, in, ma making the people feel the ownership, like I am part of that, I'm, I'm having a say in that. I, it's much easier to start complaining about the system, about the hospital, about anything, and insurance, anything, you can't continue complaining, but some people, like Mufti, I, that's why I, I really commend him for the, doing that, took the initiative to do something about it, not just to keep complaining, complaining, complaining. Because government can do as much, but again, the, the people also can do much. And I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be part of that. I'm proud of you, uh, Mufti, and I'm proud of the community coming together to do something. And um, Credit Valley Hospital is in my writing, and I work very closely with uh, Michelle uh, DeMille, and um, we are trying as much as we can to fix what has been going ongoing for a long time. It needs time. Again, like I know that a lot of people say we don't feel anything yet, but things take time. We approved 15,000 long-term care beds across board to be able to raise this load from the hospitals and free those beds to do their jobs as hospital bed. So two days, three days, four days, like short term. And that's how can we eliminate the whole, uh, whole way uh, patients waiting list. And I'm very proud that Schlegel Village got 372 beds in my riding, long term care beds in uh, uh, Winston Churchill and Eglinton kind of. So um, I'm very happy to work with the community. Come and talk to us. If you have ideas, if you have suggestions, 
tell us. And the best su successful initiatives started from the community because people who feel, who can suggest exactly what they feel. Again, it's, it's part of our uh, feedback collection because as government, we are not the expert of every item or every area, but we kind of listen and take those ideas to the uh, decision maker points and we can make it happen. So thank you very much and I, I, I'm glad, I very uh, uh, congratulate you for this very successful event. Thank you, Mufti. Thank you so much, MPP. A beautiful reflection so far. Um, I'm gonna invite a Brother Mufti up uh, for the next introduction. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just very quickly, uh, we have heard from the MPs and the MPPs, but I just want to bring one uh, more individual who was our for former MPP, uh, but he's been there with us uh, from the day one. So I just want to also recognize his presence here, and then uh, I'll invite you to say a few words very quickly, our uh, own Bob Delaney. Well, thank you, Brother Mufti. Assalamu alaikum. Um, welcome, everybody. I just want to uh, acknowledge the great contribution that the Muslim community has made here in our city, our province, and our country. The, the Muslim community is the Islamic world's greatest contribution of the last generation to Canada. And I look here at my neighbors and my friends, and I look at how uh, you've helped put equipment on the floor in the hospital because that's what your donations go toward. They, um, they're the ones that actually place the equipment that when you bring your family members in and they, uh, and they require treatment, that's what you've been buying with your donations. So um, thank you very much for having come out. It's been a privilege and uh, an honor to have played a part in the development of this. And I wish you all a pleasant weekend. Um, uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, next up, we have uh, um, city city councillor uh, Ron Starr. If you'd like to uh, make some remarks, or just a, I'd love to acknowledge your presence as well. Thank you. I guess I'm the only one that didn't. You didn't tell which university I went to, uh, where I got my degree, and all the rest of it. Well, I'm very a proud graduate of Michigan Tech. And, uh, uh, and, a, and a partial MBA from uh, Pittsburgh University, where I lived for a while. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say how proud I am and how happy I am uh, to see the, the progress that the Muslim community has made uh, with this particular event. And I call uh, Brother Mufti, I call him AQ. AQ, I hope you don't mind, I always call you AQ. And you know, you've done such a wonderful job. And it's because the need is so great. Uh, we all recognize it. And as Mayor, Mc, uh, Mayor McCallion, Mayor Crombie always says, you know, <laughs> well, Mayor McCallion said this too, government can't do it alone. And Bonnie always says that. She says, you know, we need the volunteers. We need the people to step up to the plate. And what makes me so happy about what you're doing is the radiation effect for the hospital. Because there are people in this audience and in the community that have the talent and the money and whatever to help the hospital even more. And we see that in many, many cases, uh, just like we've done uh, with the food banks, with the clothing drives and all the rest of it. And then you see people come forward on their own and said, you know what, I don't need any publicity, but I want to help. And to me, that's even more important than for the hospital and other causes. I know that I raise a few dollars for a, a, a few causes too. And I can tell you that in two instances where somebody at an event gave $2,500, I now see their name on the wall, and I, I looked up there and I saw 50,000. He said, you know, the need is there, and we're gonna all be there to help out. And I think what you're doing, uh, AQ, and with all the volunteers who walk, I couldn't walk because, I have to tell you, I haven't been walking in the last year. I got hit by a car, uh, it, it's now 10 months ago. And yes, I had to use the hospital, and yes, I had to use the paramedics, and yes, uh, you know, I had to do all these things, and that's why it's so important. The other thing we have to recognize is our aging population. 
And that's what's putting a great deal of pressure on our hospitals, so it's so important. And I see a lot of people here over 30, over 40. Let me ask a question, anybody over 80? Don't be afraid, anybody over 80? Oh, I see a couple of hands going up. But you know what? It, it's, that's what it's all about, and we're recognizing the need. We're recognizing another need which hasn't been brought up uh, with the hospitals and the health care, and that's the problems and the areas of concern with mental health. And that's becoming something that's right across the board. It's, it, doesn't, it, it just touches everyone. So uh, congratulations again. Keep raising money. I, I want to see the target next time uh, when you finally change it from 250, 250 to 100000. So keep up the good work. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Councillor. Uh, uh, next up, we have uh, um, a school trustee, uh, Snoko, if uh, you'd like to say a few remarks. I, I also will tell you a little bit about where I went to university. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I went to York. So um, I, wanna, I just want to take a few moments, really, of your time just to acknowledge the amazing work that has been done by Mr. Mufti. Um, because it's not, I, and I know we're all aware of the wonderful work that he has been doing with the walkathon and bringing us all together to support our local hospital, which is very important. It's very important to me on many levels. Um, but I also want to thank you for all that you have done in our community um, with, uh, with all of the interfaith uh, work that you have done. You've really, really been, had a positive influence on, on the community in Mississauga and really have brought us together to really uh, start uh, building a common understanding of how we can all work together, some of the challenges that we're all facing as, as diverse communities um, uh, that are very common uh, to our common experiences. So I want to thank you for that and acknowledge you for that as well. And I know um, some of my work that, uh, that we've done at the, at, uh, at, at the school board has also been inspired by some of, some of the work that you've done. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I wanna thank you all for being here. Thank you all for donating. Thank you all for coming out every single year. Thank you for walking in the cold, though it wasn't that cold today, but I'm always happy to be here and join this event. And I look forward to it every single year. So see you next year. Thank you so much, school trustee. And I'm also a graduate of York University too, so it's a bit of a theme today. <laughs> um, next up, we have uh, Ms. Arabia Khudr. She's a CEO of Dean Support Services, uh, Executive Director of the Muslim Council of Peel, and a board member of the Federation of uh, Muslim Women. And most recently, whoa, he's pushing me off the bed. <laughs> Get off the mic. All right. He doesn't need to introduce me. I, I gave him extra lines just to correct the bio, okay? So I'm a former human rights commissioner in Ontario, hoping to be one again, hint, hint, um, to the provincial counterparts here. Um, and also I'm a member of the Federal uh, Accessibility Standards Canada Board of Directors. So we're gonna make accessibility happen across this country. Mississauga's done a great job with this new Great Hall, Mayor Crombie. So I'm sure this is going to be one of our signature accessibility venues in the city of Mississauga. So I'm here to speak in a couple of capacities. It, it, this is the part I'm on, right? Subbing in? Yeah, okay, just making sure. So I was asked to make some remarks and, and I will start by saying, we always have to thank our parents and our elders and those that gave us permission to live in this land. So let me acknowledge the Mississaugas of the New Credits, who are the traditional inhabitants and, and, and their ancestors who preserved and protected this land and allowed us to occupy and share and live in it. So we are very grateful to our First Nations, Indigenous and Métis communities for making sure that we are in fact welcomed and share in the benefits of, of the natural lands from sea to sea to sea. And you know, as Anna said today, from Lake Ontario to the Credit River in Mississauga. So 
I'm grateful to my parents, my father, who brought me to this country at the age of four and made Mississauga our ultimate home since 1976, because this is where I had access to wonderful health care. Okay, I went to Toronto back then, but that's okay. You know, um, we, we need cutting edge eye clinics, research centers in Mississauga as well, and we'll get there. So I, my journey started with healthcare in this country and then education. And as a parent, I had four kids at Trillium Mississauga site. I have been in and out of that hospital with my parents in the last several years because 